Mahinduga na Dada. Abarigani. My brothers and sisters, please allow me to bombard your thinking and brain, your space, for just a moment or two to pull your coat to what's going on. Of course, some of you already know that this might enhance your understanding a wee bit more. Are you willing to give it a chance? My brothers and sisters, I just want to make sure that you understand that the meaning of words determines on who is using the words and defining the words. Power consists of nothing but an equal or greater power. So the definer of words is the one who has power. Consequently, words mean what he or she articulate them as meaning. For instance, the word terrorism as is defined by those in power, means one thing, and those the ones in power are oppressing usually means another thing. Let me explain. Power is the ability to have things act the way you want them to act. Of course, I need not remind you that we are powerless in our thinking, although we do contain all power within us. You see, mind Duga Nadada, terrorism for the Europeans, those in power, the colonizers, the enslavers of other people of the world. means one thing and one thing only to them. That it means those who fight against them utilizing any method whatsoever to overcome them. Those who become terrorists. But the sad part about this is we as African people, the most terrorized people on the planet, who has always existed in the last 500 years at least, in a state of terrorism. Let me explain to you. America is not the land of justice for black people. We were enslaved and treated most horrifically. They raped our women. Sometimes they feel our men's anus with gunpowder and lit a match and blew them to bits. It hung us from trees, my brothers and sisters. And they enjoyed it because they surrounded the hanging or the lynching or the burning as an audience. And some of them wore smiles on their faces. Are you listening to me, my brothers and sisters? Emmett Till and all the other young black men who have lived in a state and died in a state of terrorism. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. Terrorism were the acts committed against them. Listen, my brothers and sisters. Birth control set up in black neighborhoods, specifically on the borderline, so black women could get to them or they could get to the black women that abort their babies. Terror is them. Working our ancestors from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., six days a week, 52 weeks a year, and not giving them anything 
but the guts of hogs and the stuff that they didn't want, chicken necks and chicken feet, sometime a chicken wing. We've always been in a state of terrorism. I don't want anybody who thinks they are in power because I know I have power also. You have the power to destroy me and I have the power to destroy you, bottom line. So I know what it's all about. I was born and raised until my 17th year in Montgomery, Alabama. George Wallace's hideout. Are you listening to him? No peoples have suffered more terrorism than the African people. Oh, Leopold killed tens of millions of our people cut off the arms and legs and fingers and toes of many, many more. Don't talk to me about terrorism. Ask me what terrorism is. Don't come to me with a definition that supports your position and denigrates my position. I'm not a terrorist. I wished I was sometime. I'm too old for that terrorism stuff especially the way the Muslims play it. I believe joining as a team together, united, and following Malcolm X's advice, which says, get your liberation by any means necessary to obtain it. Are you with me, my Dada Nainduba? We're all equal in this world. We all have the same amount of power in this world. The only problem is we succumb to others and live our lives according to their definitions of words. We have to define our own words and speak to our people in that, those words with those same definitions so that we can understand one another. The biggest terrorist in the world that I have seen so far and witnessed while I was here on earth are the Europeans and their descendants. Following them is the Arabs, terrorists in our lives. Those Arabs would castrate every black male they had captured or had been sold to them so that they wouldn't have sex with the Arab women. They wanted them to be soldiers and servants. The black woman or the African woman whom they captured were taken to other lands and they were made to be servants and sex slaves or concubines. Oh, you can't tell me nothing about terror. I know what terror is and I know who the terrorist is in my life. Do you want me to tell you who my terrorist is? I just told you. The Europeans, their descendants, and the Arabs are our problem. They are the terrorists in our lives. The Arabs for over a thousand years by nearly a thousand. And the European now for about five to six hundred years have been visiting nothing but terror on us and in our lives. Well, talk to me. I know who the terrorist is. I know what terrorism is. Do you understand me, my brothers and sisters? If you do, once again, peace and uh, hotel to you.